Hi guys! I always say this, are we live? But it's just, we need to have a big, a big light that flashes live so we know we're live. So anyway, I think we're live. So how are you doing? So I uh, hope you're all having a, a good day or a good morning because we have some people from Australia watching usually this time early in the morning. So uh, so it's been a bit of a scorcher here today and uh, you might notice that um, I've got a little helper or it should be the other way around. I'm the little helper today for mm-hmm. a wee change. So we've got lovely Sue Pinnock from... Yummy cakes by Sue. <laughs> you were going to say the world. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy cakes by Sue. And uh, Sue is um, over here on holiday and uh, it just so happened you're just around the corner. So how easy is that? That's perfect, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I didn't realise how close I was to you. <laughs> um, and I was going to get a bus and I was you know, going to get a taxi. Um, and I thought, oh, well, maybe you're too busy to meet me. And, and then I thought, <laughs> oh, well, I'll offer to do a tutorial. And then you said yes. It was, it was the whole tutorial thing. I thought, if I get a day off, then we're absolutely in there. So it's been great. Tutorial was fine. <laughs> I didn't expect to do a Facebook Live. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's all or nothing, you know. <laughs> but it's been good fun, hasn't it? But yeah, it's been really good. Now, what is your cake that we made today? Oh, it's over there. It's going to float over in a wee second. So we've been, uh, it's been, it's good fun. Yeah, and you were, you were a natural. You were really worried about it, you said. Um, but you just flew, you just flew so well. It was fine up until the end. When go. I had to introduce myself. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So that's the that's the wedding cake that we made today. It was a wee. This is the wedding cake that I got to sit in the background and watch. <laughs> yeah. It's absolutely stunning. So you've got your little flowers, the Christmas rose. Yeah, all all edible. Butterflies, hand painted, and embossing using the patchwork uh, cutters as well, and yeah. a bit of lustre just to just lustre finish it off. off. It's absolutely beautiful. So that'll be a, a tutorial coming up soon. Don't know when, but. Soon. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, it's, so I think I think for your first time doing something like that, it's been really good. You've enjoyed it, haven't you? Yeah, well, I yeah. have. It's it's good experience. Um, I mean, the great thing about doing the tutorial is that it can all be edited. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Unlike Facebook Live, which can't be edited. <laughs> we, we have some adverts that we can we can plop on if you if you just drop off. <laughs> <laughs> so that's coming up soon. So we can just pop that out the way just now. So that that was Sue's warm up. I think that's what yes. we're going to call. It. That was the warm up I'm asking you about. Oh, sorry, right in front camera. of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I quite liked it there. It kind of gave me a little a little screen. Um, so let's see a little bit of background if anyone doesn't know who you are. So um, so first of all, how long have you been doing cakes? Uh, well, I started uh, thirteen years ago. Wow. Um, and it could have been. It might not have been cakes. Um, yeah. it, my mum said to do a, a college course. And it could have been aromatherapy, it could have been photography, and there was a cake decorated course that Karen Davis ran. Oh yes. Um, and I just thought, well, I can bake a cake. I'll join. I uh, didn't know anything about sugar craft uh, or cake decorating, and I absolutely loved that ten week course. Wow. I uh, signed up for another ten week course, and I learned so much from from her. It was brilliant. Wow. Um, so that's, it's quite interesting me that you've started it because the, the most most people it's the, the, they had children and started making the cakes for the kiddies, but you just picked a course and that was it. Well, yeah. I did have two small children. Oh, so that did help. Yeah. That helped um, the matter. I yeah. had prior to that, I did do a nail course. <laughs> but unfortunately, when you're doing uh, chemicals with false nails and changing uh, a baby's nappy, it doesn't always go hand in hand. So, um, yeah, I cake, cake changed, uh, changed, changed course to, yeah. uh, to cakes. And obviously it's been good for you the last 13 years. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I mean, it started off um, as a hobby. Then I did my first cake stall. Then I had my website. Then the orders were coming in. Mm. Um, and then I remember going to see a really big demonstration day absolutely loved it and they said oh you'll be able to demonstrate and I won't repeat but we're not allowed to swear on Facebook live but you can imagine what I said um, <laughs> something to do with sugar <laughs> and, uh, so uh, then I got asked to do a demonstration and, and for me it was like well what can I teach somebody you know I'm fairly new at this I didn't want <coughs> excuse me <coughs> I didn't want to um, teach anyone to suck eggs mm, you know so mm, yeah. I, I went down the cupcake route and I really enjoyed dem- Deming, uh, and then they asked me back, so I did another well, that's, a good, that's a good sign, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then as it progressed, so I had cake orders uh, in between the kids, so that helped the family. Then I was doing the demonstrations, and then um, I did um, a course at Patchwork Cutters. Mm. Um, and Marion Frost owns Patchwork oh, yes. Cutters, yeah. and I did the uh, accreditation course. 
So that then meant that I was qualified and accredited to teach and demonstrate using her crosses. Wow. And really that was like a stepping stone for me. That's how you, that's how you so, launched it, yeah. 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 Because she can't go to uh, every club in the UK. Um, no. you know, so there are, there are a few of us around the country but I do like travelling and I do like teaching, so yeah, it's really good fun. I know. And the um, so a kick international when I mean, you walk mm -hmm. in on the left hand side, it used to be the it used to be the, in it the used corner, to be a didn't massive, it? Massive, massive yeah, stand and the whole display. Every year I would go in and I would go, oh, I love that kick, I love that kick, and I buy all the cutters, and then I would go home and then not use them again. Mm. Just always because the, the, you think it's going to be like fast, <laughs> but you've still got to be you've still got to spend time on it. You can't just cut it out and magically it's a coloured and it's finish and you stick it on your cake but of course it just gives you the, a, an amazing the blue line uh, yeah is it blue lines no what's it called blue, blue, blueprints it's a blue it's like a blueprint to a really good cake isn't it so well yeah. I, I think that's why i enjoy going to um all the clubs and the sugar prep clubs because um most of us have got a patchwork cutter somewhere in our box yeah and usually when i start with them i will find out <laughs> who's got them who's who uses them can you use them? Yeah. Now there's quite a few hands that go up and say, oh, well, you know, I've got it, but I don't use it like yourself. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I find that um, it's just a couple of really, really easy techniques. Mm. If you're using the right paste and you, you roll it out on vegetable fats, then it will work. Yeah. It's when people use sugar paste or different mm. techniques. So what are we making tonight? So what's the plan? Right, well, tonight, um, yeah, well, I'm going to. Yes and no. <laughs> well, I was, was going to make a joke, but then it went on my head. Um, I mean, you saw what I did today. I, I went back to basics with um, the wedding cake. I went with the embossing. I did the really pretty butterflies, and I, I showed how to do the rose. Um, so it's not just about cutting, uh, cutting it out, colouring it, and sticking it on. Mm. So because um, I had to come up with two ideas, one for the tutorial and one for the Facebook Live. I thought, oh, I know, I could make a shed. <laughs> As you um, did. <laughs> because, because then you're building a structure. Um, but this could be boring because anyone can make a shed if you buy this. Because so it's if you got just hold it up to that camera there so they can see it, yeah. Now, on, a slightly more angle. on yeah. my cakes, I've used this for making a shed. I've used it for a ski lodge. I've used it for a greenhouse before now. Um, and that, that was a bit tricky for the, the, greenhouse. For the greenhouse yeah. because um, I ended up having to cut out little squares for the windows oh. um, and then I needed to put um, tomato plants inside. Oh my goodness, oh, of course you've got to put things <laughs> in beans, it. <laughs> before the roof went on, so unfortunately I, the structure was a little bit too big and the roof didn't quite marry. But, but they did it. You got it. So tonight I thought I'd try and make a dog kennel for Ben and Paco. <laughs> but the dog kennel is going to have windows. Oh, it's, it's a posh. It's a yes. posh dog kennel. Yeah. of course it is. So <laughs> it might work. It might not. Um, well, I think it's because well, actually, we're doing. You're doing two cakes tonight, really, aren't I'm you? I'm doing yeah. two cakes. Um, so she, she thought she would just throw in another one, just a wee bonus cake as well, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Which is obviously sat there. So that's not the dog kennel, obviously. So, but we'll get to that one later on. Yes. Yeah, so we'll just keep them in suspense to what that's going to be, okay? Okay. So you'll find out later on yeah, what so that's going to be. so don't see anything behind me. No, they'll not see that. <laughs> far too far away. Right, so how do, we, how do we do this? Right, okay. Well, with any patchwork cutters, um, the secret really is the paste. Okay. And it does need to be a flour paste. It doesn't matter really which flour paste because it, as long as it's got, um, it's not as soft as sugar paste. Yeah. Um, and the other secret to it is Trex. Now, for everybody in the UK, uh, you should probably you should already know what Trex is. It's a white vegetable fat. It's not the lard. It's the vegetable <laughs> fat. Uh, in other countries, it's Crisco. Um, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just to talk to that one. Oh, talk there, but hold yeah. it there. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I can do this. All day. <laughs> I'm just um, a bit too busy looking down at the tracks. Yeah, he's excited because I'm not going to take this home to the UK. Yeah, you can I, have I, this I in get some fridge. spare tracks, it's great. Um, so basically, it's all about trex your board, roll the paste, don't lift the paste up, and then trex your cutter. So I'm just going to do a couple just to show you. Um, now, luckily, 
we have air conditioning. Yes. I've had a slight problem uh, in the apartments that I'm in. We don't have air conditioning. We do have fans, but this week it has reached 40 degrees. Mm -hmm. So to roll out flower paste that is so soft, to roll out on fat, it literally stuck to the side. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't get it up. So uh, I was using a nice block on the worktop. I was putting it in the freezer. I don't know how I've managed to prep for today. But you've done well. But I've done it. You've but done I've done well. it. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. No. All right. So, how are we doing for numbers? Have we, good, got, good, have we actually yeah. got anybody watching? Yeah, we've got 65 Apart on. from my mum. Yeah. Hi, mum. What's your mum called? Um, she's not watching. She's not on. Anne's not on. No. Phone her up and tell her what to do. <laughs> <laughs> now, have we got Marion on? Marion texted me last night to wish me good luck. We've got Dorothy Clerk. So we've got Sonia. Uh, Alfonso's on, we've got Kim, Jane, Catherine, Angela, Jean, Barbara, Carol, Steffi, yeah we've got loads on, Vicky, Mum's on, hi Mum. Oh your mum. My mum, sorry. I, yeah, mom. I, know. <laughs> I was thinking, how do you know my mum? Yeah. <laughs> we've got Rona Clark's on, Rona Clark's our accountant, so hi Rona. <laughs> She's coming on Saturday. She's coming on Saturday. Yeah, Facebook Live. <laughs> yeah. So what's it Rona's making again? <laughs> a pile of books. <laughs> she, she's got no idea, has she? There you go. Uh, yeah, we've got loads on. Yes. Gosh, there we go. Well. We'll Everyone Mexico, apart Canada. from my mum. Mexico, Canada. There we go. Aloha. Aloha. Um, Kilmacomb. Germany. Ger where are you seeing this? I've not seen any. Germany. Any, any, I've not seen any locations who's, who's on there. Who's from Germany? Time. Everyone's from Germany. Oh. Everyone, Maria, everyone. everyone. Oh, we've got, we've got, um, <laughs> everyone. We've got Colette uh, Connell from Liverpool. Yeah, uh, absolutely love patchwork cutters. That's from Francis. There we go. Yeah. So it's, uh, that. Well, that's why we, when we when we first spoke about what we're doing tonight and today, uh, and Sue said about doing the patchwork uh, cutters, uh, I thought, oh, that's amazing because, as you know, I don't have any tutorials on patchwork cutters. So it's and it's it's one of those things, isn't it? It's like when you go to a restaurant. You just always go for the same thing all the time. So of course I always make the same kind I of cakes. Tonight. And you do yeah, that. I did tonight. Really <laughs> you went for Chinese last tonight. And but you always just go for what you're familiar with and then, and I always make what I'm familiar with. So so that's why it's good seeing things like that. Because people love that. It's just I, I don't use that. So and it's good well, to have Well funny enough, I ordered something different from the Chinese the other night and I didn't like it. Uh, <laughs> that's what happens. That's what <laughs> I'm happens. Try something different. Um, okay, so I'll move this trick. Right, away. okay. Yeah. So I've put tricks on the board. And in, usually when you're making flowers and things like that, when you roll, you've got your corn flour and you're always lifting it up, turning it around, make sure it doesn't stick on the board. Well, this is the opposite. You need it to stick on the board. Um, and that's how this works. Well, fingers crossed anyway. Um, and then you actually put your treks onto the cutter as well. So it, the paste doesn't get stuck in the cutter. Now the rule of thumb with this is that the smaller the cutter with the more detail, the more treks you put in. If it's like a pe uh, cutter like that, mm. you're not, it's not really going to get stuck in that because no. there's only one piece. So you, you might just want to put a little bit of treks on, but you won't need a lot. Um, she's got animals, things like the cats, the cat's tails, uh, load it, the butterflies, load it with treks, and it won't get stuck. Uh. Because then what you do is you press all the way around. Look how shiny your nails are. Wow. Oh, is that a bad thing? <laughs> no, I was going to show them. You're not, you're not supposed to do cakes with nail varnish. Nobody's eating this cake. It's fine. I just thought they were shiny. <laughs> yeah, oh, they're really shiny. I thought it's, it was all natural. It's, it's the tracks. <laughs> it's the sun. I'm thinking, look how, look how, how dull my nails are. <laughs> well, what I find is when I do downs, uh, particularly uh, I've been to cake shows before now in Germany, and uh, you're not supposed to really have um, nail varnish on when you're doing cakes. I've got a food rating uh, hygiene of five, so I know <laughs> what's good and what's not. But when you're doing a demonstration, you do not eat the cakes. No. It doesn't matter what you. No, it's you just. Know. It's just that you're, you're, you're a presenter. But yeah. yeah, but I must admit, this natural does hide a lot of sins. So if I'm if I've got a bit of colour under, it doesn't show so much <laughs> on the camera. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. 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 So I need to give a special shout out to Sharon, who's joined us from Australia, and it's three thirteen. 
Three o'clock in the morning. Oh my! I don't know if she's just on. We're still to go to bed, but it's a uh, well done show. Well, well if there's show. anything that you want to ask, please ask. Honestly, <laughs> before you go to sleep. <laughs> so, Sharon, we need to know: Are you up? Are you just up, or are you still to go to bed? <laughs> right. So, when you press it, at that point, you may actually have greasy hands, um, and sometimes people have arthritis or they can't quite pick it up. So, the easiest way to do it is to flick it. So, all you're going to do is flick it off like that. Mm. That's it. It just comes off. Now, because it's stuck to the board, all you do then is you pull the paste away, and it should be a clean cut all the way around and you can get a piece of card to, to lift it up or I didn't have it before phone pad if you just get the palette knife now it's still slightly warm here <laughs> <laughs> and just pop it on there now the only thing I'd say to about the shed is it's like building a house mm -hmm. your bricks have all got to be the right shape so if you don't yeah. have the right shape, the house isn't going to be right, no. built right. So hand. with the shed, basically, you obviously need two sides. You need two ends. Uh, and it's, there's pictures in there. Uh, you need two apexes. Now, if that's not dried, when you cut this out, in fact, I'll cut one out to show you. If it's not, because when it's dry, and it's the wrong shape, it's not going to fit. Oh, so if it's, if it's still wet, you can, you can shimmy it? No, into... no, no, because you, no. Can't, you can't build it when it's wet. It's got to be dry. It's got to be dry. To be... Although, having said that, you could, if you build it round a cake, you could have a cake that size. Right. Or do it out of Rice Krispie Treats. Oh, yes. Or yeah. maybe uh, a block of icing. And, and, it, stick it, and then and stick it on. on. Yeah, yeah, so if you're really stuck for time. Uh, failing that, if you live in Spain, what you could do is you can go and take it outside for 30 seconds and it will dry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, again, what I've done, I'll just go through the technique again. Trex your board, place the paste, flour paste on, you roll and don't lift the paste. Now, I'm doing this one because sometimes I you can struggle to lift it off the board. So, uh, can I have some more tracks? Yeah. I tend to have a lump lump just on in the corner and I just I keep see that actually, it's going to yeah. yeah. The only problem is sometimes if you forget about it and then you put all your tools in and it gets covered, but it's one of those. Yeah. Right, so, tracks your cutter. So we've got some new people watching. We've got Nicola Gunn, we've got Amy Cole. Hi Amy, Coyle, is it Coyle? Amy. Amy, oh, sweet stamp. Yeah. <laughs> we've got Judy, we've got Kim. Yeah, we've got loads of it yeah, popping on there. So press the cutter down firmly and again flick it up. Ah, now that's stuck. Now I did that on purpose to show you you've got to put more tracks on. <laughs> <laughs> so it happens to all of us. Uh, is Marion Frost watching yet? She's still not on yet. <laughs> Good. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can probably say, no, I can't save that one. I'll do another one. Um, in fact, I don't think Marion's on the group. I've not seen her Marion on the group. Oh, no, no she's, she might not be on the group. I'm typing Marion and see if it comes up. No, she's not. She's not in the group. That's ridiculous. The thing terrible. is, the thing is um, I do customer cakes. I do normal customer cakes. Um, and I make mistakes. You know, without mistakes, you, you know, you don't, you don't improve, do you? Um, so it happens to all of us. So, uh, Maria is asking, um, she only has Wilton gum paste. Fine. Is that fine? Yeah, spot on. Oh, there you yeah, go. So Wilton, there you go. Wilton is fine. I've used Wilton before. Yeah, so, but uh, if you ask, yeah, if you want to know what paste she's using, it's uh, Renshaw's gum paste or flour paste that yeah. we're using tonight. Good. The gum paste and flour paste exactly is the same thing. So, yes, absolutely fine, the Wilton. Perfect. I do find that's quite hard to start with in the packets, in the foil packet, so you do have to work it first. Uh, quite a bit. Well, I was always Squire's Kitchen. Um, so oh. I like it because it dries really, really fast and hard, but not not best for making flowers with. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'd, I think it would be quite good for this because it was it dries so fast. I mean, to I'm, obviously I'm fast, fast, fast. So I, I'd want to cut it out and have it built in half an hour. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> fast, fast, fast. I like to take time. Sorry, but I'm, get, but I'm, get, but I'm getting quicker. Yeah. I'm just hoping when I flick it the second time that it doesn't right. stick. Let's have a drum roll. Oh, do you know? Oops, oh, there, there you go. go. That's how to do it. <laughs> oh. 
Right, so I flipped it off. Yeah. So pull the paste away. And what you find sometimes with these cutters, if I've actually noticed on here, um, if you roll your paste out too thick, you can get a bit of a jagged edge. Well, someone just asked that question, so you must so, know. Yeah. Um, so it's because your, is it? your paste... Oh, I don't know. That's what they're asking. How thick is thin. it? Thin! How thin Really, how really thick? thin. That's too thick. That's too thick. But this is really thin. I mean, if you see this, this is paper thin. I mean, can you read, can you read that through there? Yes, you can. Look. So that, can you see that, Matthew? Yeah. So you can, you, well, you can't read it, but you can definitely see the black lines. So that, 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 that's a, it's almost the same as rolling out for flowers. You've got, you've got two options. Uh, you can either, one, try and get rid of the jagged edges. Yeah. You might not have time to faff about getting rid of, if you're cutting out a hundred different things, you don't want jagged edges on them all. Mm. But if it's only one or two, now what you can do, you can use um, a vodka brush or, right. <laughs> is, this, is this the vodka <laughs> this brush? Is, this is my vodka brush. <laughs> and it's a water pen and a quite like the vodka because it does dry it doesn't mm. dry straight away but it dries quite a bit uh, uh, sort of quicker than, than obviously water I'll just start it off just so there you go and what you can do I don't know whether you can see this you can actually if you just get a damp brush in fact a, a damp water brush will be fine yeah. just go along the edge and it will just get rid of the jagged edges turn it over and do it maybe but actually you're not going to see these I think the AC just dried it quicker than... Yeah. yeah. So, although air conditioning can, is great. But you can definitely see it. Yeah. yeah. Um, or you just roll it out thinner. Yeah. And that's absolutely fine. Now this here, if you can't pick this up and it changes uh, sort of the shape, which it will do, look at that. That's mm. not going to go on your house. So, to get it into the right shape to dry, just get the cutter and just push it up like that. Well, that's a good tip. Yeah. And then you know it's in the right right position. Yeah. Same as the, uh, there's like little wood trellises for all the corners, which I'll do in a minute. Again, make sure they're straight. Mm. Because if they're not straight, you're really gonna, it's not going to marry up. You're not gonna get the nice finish, yeah. So basically, if you cut out two sides, two of the ends, two pieces for the roof, uh, you've got two window, well, obviously two window frames, a load of pieces of wood and if it's going to be a shed obviously you can do your door mm -hmm. but what I've actually done and I will bring everything that I made earlier here comes the, the blue feature moment yeah so I'm not doing all this I'm not cutting them all out tonight because we haven't got time for it to dry my only problem is I've got no spares yes you have <laughs> <laughs> so what I've done is on this I will hold it up and not breathe I've actually cut out a little door Aww. it's only a little one my daughter said oh it's a bit small it's probably big enough for our dog <laughs> it's supposed to be for ben and Packer. yeah because what have you got we have got a little puppy called daisy and she's a shawky she's really cute she's gorgeous yeah. she is a shih tzu crossed with a yorkshire terrier and she's such a good little girl and she's she's so adorable that they've, they've cut their holiday short <laughs> so they can get back home <laughs> you normally do six weeks and you normally do four yeah i don't usually, I don't usually <laughs> just for the dog i don't usually tell everybody i'm away for that length of time oh sorry no, but Oops. it's okay it's absolutely fine <laughs> <laughs> my mum's there. My mum's there. <laughs> uh, no, my mum, bless her, is looking after a dog. Uh, after our dog, and she yeah, she's not on her own. She won't admit that she's absolutely loving it. Uh, loving, loving having the dog. Oh, is that right? Yeah, but I think she is. Uh, well, you Aren't not, your mum? You might not get her back. Oh, no. <laughs> we will get her back. <laughs> right. So let's start building this dog kennel. Yes. So, what am I going to build it on? Shall I build it on this foam pad? Right, so the only way to uh, stick the um, dried pieces... Oh, any more questions? Yeah, I'll just check if there's any questions. No, we've just got more people coming on board. Yeah, we've got Rose Macefields came on. We've got Susan Anderson, Christina, Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Dan Jenkins. Rihanna. Rihanna's on. Uh, Is she watching me? Yeah. She's really good. Yeah. 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 Hi. <laughs> Big fan. <laughs> She's all nervous now. Like I used to, I used to be a really big fan of yours. <laughs> I used to be. <laughs> oh, oh, all right, okay, all right, I'm off. See ya. <laughs> then you made me do this Facebook live. <laughs> right, so I could come back here. Right, so I'm going to actually put the window frames on first. 
uh, rather than when it's um, off rice because oh. it might just be easier. See, I, I was thought I thought you were going to cut them out. See, that was yeah. you. Makes sense. Do you know what? It does help. <laughs> you get your spectacles on. I don't use them all the time, <laughs> but it does help to see things. Uh, just put a little bit of royal icing on. Is this homemade royal icing or is it out of packet? No, it's not. Because I had to put it in my suitcase. I wasn't going to make royal icing. No. I had to come on holiday. <laughs> uh, this is, this is the, uh, the Renshaw's in the tub. That's great, isn't yeah, it? I love because, it. do you know what? It does a job and uh, it does last for a while. And I tend to use these bags, um, particularly from a Dems, because what you, can, what you can do is you can just fold, fold the end and it becomes airtight and then it lasts for longer. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Um, whereas I used to always, always use um, baking parchment. Oh, paper, yeah. You make your own piping bag. <laughs> and then you leave it on the side and it goes hard in yeah, an hour. Yeah, So this lasts. I used to work in a, a bakery and the, it was always paper piping bags. Every day they'd stand and make a pink one up, a blue one up, a green one up. And the next day, always you throw in the bin. So yeah. I started introducing to the plastic piping bags but do you know that old dog new trick? Kind of like what I'm like now, right enough. <laughs> they just would always use the paper bags. It's staffed, isn't it? Well... Think how much waste. Yeah, but there was something on Facebook. I probably shouldn't bring it up. No, no, it's and, fine. And it was something to do with, oh, you shouldn't be using the plastic piping bags because you, we need to save the planet. Oh. But it's like, oh, come on. Oh, but you're reusing it. You're not just using it once. You're, yeah. Yeah. But now that you say that, yeah, paper bags are much better. I hate paper <laughs> straws. <laughs> I absolutely can't. By the straws. Can't abide. Yeah. So I'm going to just buy up as many plastic straws. But who needs straws? Just use the cup. <laughs> when you're in McDonald's. <laughs> you just took the lid off. And drink your milkshake. <laughs> now we've got a funny thing happening in the background. <laughs> it's quite warm in here, isn't it? Are you feeling that heat coming across the room? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Mum, but I bought I, I burnt your granddaughter. <laughs> She went out for a swim and she didn't, yeah, she's got burned. She's been swimming with Paco, our dog, and uh, Paco is completely fine, but Zoe's a little bit red, tomato she looking, yeah. So she's, she's smothering her third load of um, after cream, after sun cream after on. Sun. <laughs> so, so mum, mum's on, she just said, Daisy says hi, Aww. and it's loving her holiday, but mum, mum was worn out chasing after. <laughs> Lots of puppy kisses. Aww. Aww. Hi Anne. <laughs> That's cute. Bless her. She's so good, my mum. Yep, Darren, we're all, we're all good, thanks. Thanks for tuning in. So if anyone's got any questions, just bounce them over. We'd uh, love to, to answer them. Right, okay, so that's your frame on. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attempt to attach this to the other side. So. So it's, like, it's, it's, it's kind of like building a gingerbread house, isn't it? Well, it is. It's just a structure where you've just got to glue all the parts together. Because in, in the, the manual, the little manual, it shows uh, putting a block of sugar paste inside. But you don't really need that, do you? No. Okay. I've done it before. It, 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 it depends. Um, I suppose it gives you, it's like a... Having a it's it's, a, it's like, a little bit of a base. It's like stabilisers. Yeah. But once you're a bit more brave. I might regret not putting it on in a minute, but... It's fine. The ski lodge is great because then if you've got any, any mistakes or any gaps, all you do is put a load more That's snow over idea. the top. That is a very good and, idea. And it's really yeah. good. But, um, Same as a gingerbread house. Yeah, yeah. I used to love making gingerbread houses. Remember we, we used to teach gingerbread house making. Yeah, you sold out. It was, a, it was like a, a sort of parent and child class. So really, really good for um, anyone who wants to start teaching because it's, it's quite a... Well, things can go wrong, but of course it's Christmas time, so people just laugh, like the roofs collapse or the, the, the side falls. Oh, maybe I can do the class. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, yeah. yeah. You never really tidy up, that's why you stop doing it. Well, that, that is why I still do it, because you, you, you buy like 50 quids worth of um, Smarties and sprinkles, and at the time it was good fun, but the yeah. clean, I think sometimes we're finding Smarties. Yeah, in June. In June. <laughs> do you know what? I think they're very really good. <laughs> I'm still finding party poppers in my house. <laughs> From New Year's Eve. Oh my goodness. And don't get me wrong, I hoover regularly. <laughs> but it's like, where are they coming from? <sighs> so, royal icing down each of the sides. Sue's put me in the I want to make a gingerbread house. Is it too early to film a Christmas tutorial? <laughs> Do you know what? Usually, when I come to Spain, I actually design my Christmas cake. Is that when you start getting the for it? Yeah. Wow. 
You have to, don't you? Well, you have. I mean, I, I saw people posting um, Christmas cakes already. Mental. I'm not going to post Christmas cakes. No, people have been posting their, of course, they've been posting like their class cakes. Because mm-hmm. I suppose they've got to get the students in. Oh, yes. Taking orders for stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, I've managed to do that without sort of a helper or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, I've just been chatting away, <laughs> haven't I? Yeah. Um, so, sometimes you think, oh, you need about 10 pairs of hands. But actually, because um, it's all dry and it's, it's been absolutely fine. Now, what you can do, uh, which I've seen before, you can, um, like I said, put some Rice Krispie treats in as a base. Or a cake, or you can fill it with sweets. Well, so that's what I was going to. If you fill it with sweets, you can actually then lift the roof off. See, that's a, that's a fun way, isn't it? Yeah. But I like to secure the roof. Or you could do it as a, I suppose. Oh no, I'm not even. Gonna, I'm, not, I'm not saying anything. What? Go on. No, I was going to say you could do it as a, like a baby reveal cake, but I, I don't know what kind of building you would do for that. A bit of a bit, bit strange. <laughs> A hospital. A hospital. You can put a hospital bed in. <laughs> so we've got a load of planks of wood and all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these up on the corners. So as you can see on here, you've got some excess sugar, uh, excess royal icing. Yep. And usually if I'm doing anything like that, I will be meticulous and give it a wipe. Mm. I can't stand seeing excess oozing out yeah, of stuff. Yeah. But actually what I'm going to do is put some pieces of wood up there anyway. So you're not going to see it. Do you know your red your red foam really shows up well on the camera? I need to get one of those red foams. Where'd you get the red foam from? Would you like it? Yeah, we're, no, well, I won't take Would that you like one. it? But where'd you get one from? Um, the last it, was one for, for it, it was from the it was from the range. Is it from the range? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Mm. See, look, it shows up well. Look, that's the, 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 the yeah, there. It does, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Ah. Hint, hint, Mr. Bryce. There you go. So just push. I'm just going to lean over. Oops, that was a, yeah. yeah. When, I, when I say oops, you know something's gone wrong. <laughs> I was just about to start running. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it hasn't obviously set yet, but uh, let's see if we can manage. I bet that looks cute. Yeah, I think that's fine. Well, the thing is, if I was making it'll that... Be, it'll be fine for Facebook Live. Yeah, if I was making this for my um, hand cut, I would, there's no way I'd have made the, those little side bits. No. But, it, but it really gives that a better finish, doesn't it? Yeah, it yeah. does actually. It, it does make all the difference. Oh, I tell you what's really good: beach hut. I've done a beach hut oh, with beach this. Oh. And then what you do is you actually colour the blue and white stripes. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Um, and I, and it comes with a spade. Oh no, that's a fork. That's <laughs> <laughs> good for you. <laughs> so what you have to do is model a bucket. So we've got Leslie. Leslie Lee, yeah, yeah Leslie Lee, and it's uh, she's watching, and it's three thirty a.m. in ta- in Taiwan. So. so, so Leslie won a competition, didn't she? A, a couple of years ago. A year and a half ago. Was that a year and a half ago? Almost two years ago. Yeah. So, yeah to, to come and have a one to one with yeah, you. Yeah, we flew Leslie all the way from uh, Taiwan. Yeah. Uh, to do a one to one, which was a uh, seriously good fun, yeah. and uh, and uh, it was really funny because when Leslie won the competition. Our family thought it was a con. <laughs> they thought it can't possibly. Nobody's going to fly you. They're going to take your passport off you, so you can't fly home. You got to, you, we've got to pay a ransom. Oh, wow! Uh, and she got to come here, and we had great fun, didn't we? So uh, yeah. we made a really cute. She got to design her own cake that she wanted to make. Uh, we didn't. We didn't do a Facebook Live back then, so we should have done a Facebook Live. Yeah. Next time, Leslie. Yeah, Leslie. Next time you win the competition. <laughs> uh, so, um, just been asked somebody who's just joined is saying asking. What do you use to make the cute house? So it's the, it's the uh, rent, uh, flower, uh, flower paste. Flower paste, Renshaw's. Yes. Renshaw's flower paste. So try not to use sugar paste, it's too soft. You Even can't if you add it. CMC or Tylo to it, it's probably still not going to be hard enough. So the good thing about gum paste, flower paste, is you can roll it nice and thin. Now, if you are living in a very humid, humid country, yeah. flower paste can still absorb the moisture. Mm. So if you um, are worried about it collapsing, um, Mexican paste is the best. Because when you, do you ever use Mexican never, paste? Never, never use it. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Um, is it called Mexican paste because it's humid in Mexico? I don't know. <laughs> Possibly. Yeah, no, Possibly. Just when you were saying that there. I will ask my Mexican friend <laughs> who lives in Germany. <laughs> she says, Marisol. Um, so Darren's just asking, will there be a repeat of this live show? Yeah. Yes, 
It's there. It will be on here and it will also be on Kate Flix live TV. But it won't be edited, but you will be able to fast forward bits. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's watched one before. <laughs> I don't fast forward any of it. <laughs> right. Marcia's just asked if um, you could come up with a tutorial that you can make with just one hand. I think she's got an injury. Oh. Tendons. Yeah, tendon problems. Oh my. There you go. A one-handed one, tutorial. One tutorial. I've oh. just put one hand behind my back. Yeah, let's see if you can do it. No, because what if it smashes the roof? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, try it. Whereabouts does she live? You can borrow the other hand. <laughs> um, right. Tell you what, I am going to go and buy that. So Angela Henderson is making a gender reveal cake as we speak. I must have been feeling it in the air. Is that a heart? <laughs> I think that'd be quite a boring gender reveal cake if it was a garden shed <laughs> with a little boy or a little girl inside. Now at this point, what I suggest is. Just double check that your roof fits with the structure because if it doesn't, <laughs> that's a bit of a problem. Yeah, um, but this is the only bit where I stop breathing. So no, you can't make this with one hand. No. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put my glasses on for this. This is definitely if you're making a Christmas or a beach hut, uh, ski hut, we could um, lodge yeah. and really. Put lots of royal icing on at this point. Yeah. Oops. I'm going to just quickly put it on both sides yeah. and get that done. And again, don't worry about the excess royal icing because we're going to put an apex on each side as well. You can do all sorts. I did think about doing a Snoopy one. You know, if you did, if, if you did oh, it, if, yeah. yeah. So if you did it all in red and then model Snoopy on the top, Aww. but it's not like Paco and Ben. No, and that's Paco and Ben's and much the, more fun. Yeah. So. Oh yes. gosh, I just want to. So yeah, I want to make a gingerbread house. I'm making a, I'm making a cruise ship this week. Um, so quite a big cake this week. So this this would be good for the um. We could put a wee, a wee shed as the captain's the nest. Couldn't we just change it? Oh, sliding a touch. <laughs> now, what you need to do next is get some um, icing for the roof just to put over the centre. Well, you've got a little over there yeah, as well. Yeah, just oh, a right. little bit. Um, and I decided the other night at about two o'clock in the morning, rather than having um, a white roof, which I was going to colour. I did originally have this. Uh, I thought, but it's a dog kennel. I, I think and it, it needs a black roof. Yeah. And I don't know why, because, no. No, I think that works. It, it almost looks like slate. It's a bit, it's a The thing is, as long as you guys know how to make it, you can make it better. Well, um, well, you, well you're giving it the idea. Or you? different yeah. colours or, or anything like that. We, we've got a dog kennel out in the garden. Did you see it? No. Yeah, there's a, there's a dog. Should we go and have a look? Just over there right now. <laughs> it's a white one with, uh, a, it's white with a terracotta roof. <laughs> It looks like a tiny little cutter. Oh, I could have done that. Yeah, I, I, I never even thought. No, it wasn't until you just mentioned that there. <laughs> now he tells me. But that looks that looks more like a UK dog kennel. Yeah. But posher with the windows. Well, so I saw one because I talk less about cakes now and I talk more about dogs. <laughs> That's what now happens. Now I'm a dog owner. <laughs> and uh, this guy made this dog, uh, dog house inside the house. It's got like a little TV screen and like little shelves and plants and everything. You can, you can FaceTime the dog. Yeah. Like shared. Oh, we've tried FaceTiming our dog and it doesn't get the gist of looking at the screen. I think it, it, it needs to give a smell, doesn't it? I think if you could waft your body smell... Your dog would look at the screen more. Although some people's dogs do look at the screen, but ours don't. don't. Now, technically, I'm not actually cutting out a patchwork cutter thing here. Um, I just need a strip to go on, on the top. Doing your freestyling. So, well, not like you do, because you do it really well. I'm not good at freestyling, <laughs> but uh, I'm not. What my point is, I'm not rolling out on tracks. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm just rolling it out, and then what I'm doing is, I know that this was the roof. Oh, yes. So I know I need it that length. So yeah. actually what I'm going to do is, along the straight edge, ah. I just cut a bit. No, so you, technically I'm... Well, you're being clever. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I probably need to do with um, a bit of uh, cornflour or something. A bit of cornflour, oh yeah, yeah. It's because it's stuck to the board. 
Right, so Tony Brady has just joined from Australia, Margaret Ellis, and um, says that it would be felt anyway, so the, the, the roof's absolutely fine. Yes, like a felt, there. like a felt roof. Felt. <gasps> Of course. Oh, that's what it looks like. I did think about doing it green, but then it was a bit too green on there. Yeah. I did think about doing all sorts with it. You can put like lights around it, you can put flags, you can put like bunting. Bunting oh, all around. That would be fun. Bunting cute little fear lights for but Christmas. Then, <laughs> but then as I was packing my suitcase for Spain, I thought, do you know what? It's just gonna be a dog kennel. That, no, that, 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 no, no flowers, yeah. no bunting, no nothing. It's going to be a dog kennel. That's it, with two dogs. Nothing else. Make it simple. Make it work. And the one job I had was to, to ice a little board with some green sugar paste, but because I do things a little bit on the bigger side, we've got a 10-inch board, so we've got a field. Well, I mean, if this was for a customer cake, I would model the dogs. Um, but I'm not going to do that tonight. Oh. The dog's a fab. Yeah. Santa's Grotto. Oh, Caroline. Oh, Hi, Caroline. Yeah. Santa's Grotto, that's oh, a good nice. one. Yeah, you could do a wee chimney, couldn't you, as well? I was just about to say that. <laughs> Great, Great minds. minds think alike. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be spending too much time today. <laughs> right, so because this is soft, I can actually just use some sugar glue. Um, so David uh, just brought up on the screen, just to remind everyone that we've got a seven day free trial on. Uh, so if you've not tried Cake Flicks, if you, want, if you want to watch the full full length tutorials, mm. then uh, pop, over, pop over to Cake Flix. Please put your link up and you can try before you buy. I used to binge watch with those when it, when it was a free, a free weekend. It was like, oh, look at that, watch them all. <laughs> <laughs> and then I joined as a pro member. So now you're a pro. So you, oh, so it worked, it worked. You, you, don't, you don't have to binge anymore. <laughs> Right, so let's pop, right, can you see it there or shall I bring it forward? I think bring it over, yeah. Bring it forward. Yeah, this is what I do with my cakes at home. You, you're working on something right over there instead of right in front of you. So let's push that together. But we've had people watching the lives on their sunbed. Haven't they been on holiday, haven't we? Yeah. A couple of weeks ago, people were she was on, her sun, on, on the beach watching this, which is pretty cool. Right. I think we all do that though when you're on holiday, you're, you're just relaxing and you're just flicking through Facebook, aren't you? So oh, yeah. I think if we live came Oh, up, maybe you could be doing Facebook lives on your holiday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we do it all the time, any, any other time. Actually, I didn't go green and feel sick tonight, so that's really good. That's, yeah. That, that's why we took, we took you to last, the Chinese restaurant to take your mind off it. Yeah. Last, last time I did a Facebook live, I just... Um, stopped talking at the beginning <laughs> right so that's that bit there let's put these on and get this done so i can get this th three tier cake done before you go to bed <laughs> right so angela Harris is just reminding me that i've been talking about gingerbread houses since uh, june apparently i can't even remember talking about them in the, the, the train and trainer course i must have something about gingerbread houses <laughs> Oh, so it was underneath it goes underneath uh, oh you won't be able to see that there let's turn yeah, it around good yeah how cute is that? And one on the other side. That is so cute. So Susan Anderson's asking if any of us can speak Spanish yet. Uh, poco Espanol. Ah. We. Oui. Una, whiskey and cola, puff of all. Grow some beer better. <laughs> That's German, sure. Off. Agua, sin gas. I guess and gas. I know lots of little words. They Ca don't always make sense. I, I don't drink coffee, but I just love when they ask for a coffee. Café con leche. That's Italian. Could I say it here as well? I was going to say that. Yeah, with a Scottish accent. Café con leche. Oh. Oh. I know. That's the back. That's oh. fine. Yeah, yeah. And then she even puts these in. I should have done these different colours. Is that the little bits that go? Yeah. Oh my goodness, that is... Really cute. That's intense detail. Oops. Not too much there. Where's that going to stick? She does that go on the... Oh, yeah, it goes on it. there. Yeah. Oops. See, I would like a, a garden shed here. We've not got any outside storage spaces. But wood is so expensive in Spain. So back home you could get a six by six shed for what three or four hundred pounds. Here it's about a grand for a shed. Grand Honestly, because wood is so expensive here. We just we were speaking to someone, a Spanish person, recently, and they were saying um, 
the more wood that someone's got in their house here, it shows the more affluent they are. So there you go. Didn't know that. Right. So when we moved at this house, we took all of it down. <laughs> we didn't like it. Now, if that was a cake, I'd royal ice it onto the cake. I would actually royal ice it onto we'll the lift board it over so we can or, the, see. or the cake. Oh, um, so as soon cute. as it's dry, the royal icing is dry and the stru it's structurally sound, then I would then lift it onto the cake. I wouldn't normally do it at this stage. No, that was a bit of a risk. The, chance, the chances of uh, the whole thing collapsing inwards uh, it, you know, it is quite high. Do you know what would be really cute? For Valentine's Day, doing two dog kennels with like Daisy and Paco, and then little love hearts, then there'd be dogs outside. Because oh, a lot of people love dogs, isn't there? So, and what was then? Well, was, well, I suppose you're going to say it's the same I'm just thinking, I'm just, fine girl. I'm just picturing like. our tiny little dog, um, Paco. <laughs> what's going to happen <laughs> but anyway so what would they be called I don't a know shorky what. and a retriever <laughs> right so um, whilst we're talking about dogs um, I'm going to make you two dogs uh, now this is from the silhouette range um, but I just wanted to do uh, the dogs to show that they don't have to be silhouettes mm. But I might do something similar in a bit. Okay, okay. So, uh, I mean, I don't work for patchwork cutters. That, do you know, that was my next question. Yeah, I, was going to I ask don't work. You. I don't work. It, that's work. what it comes across as if you're, yeah, you're, um, you're selling. Yeah, I don't. These. I don't sell the products. Um, the reason why I demonstrate them is purely because I did the accreditation course, and um, going around the country. I mean, I've been to Carmarthenshire, Cardiff. I go to Welshpool every single year. Um, the, there's more local uh, group clubs. You went uh, to Germany as well, haven't you? Well, I used to love going to Germany. Um, he used to actually, there was um, somebody in Germany that used to stock a lot of Patrick Cutters. Right. And again, my, uh, the owner of Patrick Cutters couldn't always go over to obviously demonstrate mm. and sell. So because I was qualified to do that, they paid me to do it. It's fantastic. It absolutely brilliant. <laughs> so um, I got paid doing something I love. Um, and really that's... It, Kind of fitted. It's nice to go to uh, to get to go across yeah, another country. Absolutely. And, yeah, absolutely. I can speak more German than I can Spanish. Is that right? Mm. And I've been coming to Spain for twenty years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'm not going to do it in German, so please don't ask. <laughs> right. So you got all sorts of dogs here. Um, Alsatians, Retrievers. Um, I probably should have done that one. Yeah. That's a bit bigger, but I did a little one. A little, little. So. What I'm going to do is just to remind you all again. Yeah, well, shall I move the these out of the way, maybe? Do you need to? Yeah, no, is, it, is no. that in view, is it? No, there we go. Just, I'll just go over there. There we are. Okay, so the technique again, I might wash my hands in a minute, <laughs> is we're going to track the board. Sorry, can I just have some more tracks? Yep. Oh, that's what it was. I was telling Angela to organise a gingerbread. Yeah, because if, if anyone who starts teaching, uh, a ginger, I think gingerbread house is a nice kind of soft way into teaching because it's a fun day and um, and I, th I think most parents and child, with, you know, who are like a little bit bacon, it's yeah. a great afternoon or a great, a great morning. And if you can if you can put it on just before Christmas, then of course they can really use it as the, the centrepiece in Christmas Day. Mm. A nice little gingerbread house, it's great, isn't yeah, it? It's really good. And you can buy the pre-made packs um, from IKEA, or you can buy them on Amazon, uh, or if you want to be extra special, you could pre-bake the gingerbread, which is what we used to do. But to be honest, it was a complete because we used to. I think we used to have like twelve in a class, so it was 13, 13 gingerbreads to get baked off. And if you think how many all the sides, panels, and wow. that is a lot. And of course, I like to do things big, so um, I think there were like a sort of eight by ten, <laughs> like an eight by ten <laughs> size. They were oh, massive. They were massive. But it's just good fun because you put the music on. We used to buy little cheap hats from the pound shop, little Santa hats and reindeer antlers. They're great fun. Yeah. So that's your dog. So, so all I'm seeing there is a dog and it's, it's missing its antlers for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it could be reindeer coming out of the Reindeer grotto. could be. Yeah. Yeah. Reindeer hut. <laughs> Come on, we need more ideas for the shed. Um, I'm just going to wash my hands. Is that okay? Well, what we can do is, we've got, can we go to a little um, 
a little break. So that's this week's tutorial. So this week's tutorial is um, the wishing well from Jeanette McPherson, correct? Yeah. Go! Hi, I'm Jeanette from Jeanette McPherson Cakecraft and I'm here today to show you how to make this wonderful, whimsical wishing well cake. So as you can see, I'm going to take you through all the stages to make this wonderful cake from the internal structure to the carving of the cake on the base and on the roof part as well. All the airbrushing, all the decoration, how to make all the flowers and the sign and even this working bucket. So let's get started. Goes fast, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> how, how, how long was that one? Was that about a minute or? Yeah, about that. Yeah, it goes so fast. So, uh, so what we're doing now is we're back and we're going to, going to add a lot of, of golden colour to our golden retrievers. Yeah. Um, my daughter said not to do it too yellowy, but I think. Well, one of them's white, more white, and one's more yellow, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. So, so, um, so that must be Paco oh. then. That one. That's Paco. Yeah. So this one needs to be lighter. So can you make that a bit lighter? I, th I think just I think just that colour. That was that colour. Oh, was it? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was that colour. No. So what I might do is add a bit more onto, onto that one. Yeah. Like, if there was yeah. a slight, I just tinged it on the edge. Um, but what I did do was I wanted them both facing each other oh. rather than away. So, so you just all, turned it upside so down? So I've just turned it the other oh. way around. This, um, Paco's been in the mud, a little bit dirty. It's got some black on him. Oh, well, that, 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 that doesn't surprise me. Fine. So um, I'm just using some uh, dust colours, uh, working it into the kitchen roll and just giving it a, a quick dust. But it would look great if you model, modelled a dog. I've done a wedding cake before now with dogs. I think there was about 11 huskies. Honestly? Yeah, but they didn't look like huskies on the <laughs> <laughs> So someone's asking, Mar Mar is it Marcia? Uh, hi Paul, any chance you could design something you can make? Oh, we've already had that question with one hand. Oh, uh, oh you can make a fairy house. A little fairy, fairy house. Fairy house, I like that. You can idea. just see little toadstools and a little, yeah. a little stream running by. Yeah, that sounds nice. Oh, I want to make a fairy house now as well. Actually, funny enough, Patrick did a fairy set. Did a fairy set? I really like that one. I thought you were looking not, for it there. Not, I thought. Not, not, not that I'm promoting it, but yeah, no, I'm not kidding. Um, it does need an eye, so let's put a little eye on. Oops, that's a large eye. That was a bit weird. Well, he's, he's got, he's got, is that, oh, that's, that's Ben, isn't it? Yeah. So it's quite funny today because um, Zoe's been in the, 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 she's been helping out uh, Sue's daughter and uh, she's been pl playing in the pool with uh, Paco. And uh, Paco just gives those big brown eyes, and uh, I think uh, so. He's got a sore, a sore arm for throwing the, the ball, or a small little toy, into the pool every five minutes. I think she happy. can't believe the fact that you throw this, throw something in the pool, and this dog just goes jumping it just, it just straight dives, in. He dives in, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's not scared. We had Ben in the other day there. Oh, I wish we had a picture to post. Uh, have we got a picture to post? No. Have you got, have you got it? Did you put it on? Oh, can I post it on there? Oh. Right. So Ben was on a Lilo. Ben doesn't swim. So um, we've got a blow up Lilo. And we actually lay Ben on the Lilo. And uh, he just, we just push him out. And he just lies there. He's quite happy. There you go. <laughs> so there you, there you two. How cute is that? Do you want to lift it up so we can see it? Is it this one? Yeah. Oh. How lovely is that? All it needs is a little bone. A little, little bone, little foods. bowl. Yeah, you yeah. can put a little some. You could put little, little names above it. On. Yeah. Well, you could put them in the windows. Oh yeah, that would be nice. Oh yeah. Paco and Ben. Yeah. So we did say to do that. But, you, could, um, you could put black silhouettes of other dogs if they're having a party. Is it like is it a dancing have, sort of thing? Well, you could model them and put uh, party hats little, little on. party hats on, just yeah. the, just the black silhouettes. Yeah. Yeah, it could, it could be the, the dog party house. <laughs> 
So is that, that, that's that finished? So that's that one finished. Yeah. So, um, I'll hear yeah. when you get any questions about the shed? Yeah, if parents get any questions, if you want to pop them on, and we'll have a quick tidy up. Now, David, is there anything you anything to speak about tonight that I've not spoken about yet? Uh, we can talk about Thursday uh, Thurs for pro members. It's yes. going to be the live pro members Q&A. Oh, so yes. We've been doing that since December 2015. And I thought it was 16, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15 yeah. Wow. Uh, and so this, but this week we're going to change it. So we've got a pro member, Ken Willis, and we're going to be. Oh, I'm getting zoomed in on. Gosh, I think I've. Uh, we're we're going, going to be dressed up. Oh uh, no! Where's your, your Kate Flicks t-shirt, yeah. Mr. Bryce? Yes. Yeah, so we've got um, Ken Willis. He's going to be the feature cake business. Um, so we've got pro members lined up between now and February, and they're just going to come on, talk about their businesses, share their experiences, good and bad. And hopefully it's just going to help everyone. So for pro members, I'm getting an email out tomorrow just to let you know when it's going to be seven o'clock UK time on Thursday. And yeah, we're looking forward to it. So it's going to be quite different. Yeah. So the idea is it's going to be like a spotlight on our pro members, and uh, where possible, hopefully they can come live from their studio and we get a walk around the studio. Mm -hmm. We've got Ken's got a slight problem with his yeah, internet. His internet speeds. A little bit slower than we would would have liked to do a, a live. So Ken's going to do a little video, we hope, and then uh, he'll be following up on the Q and A. So it's I love it's watching that program. What's it called? Through the keyhole. So it's going to be like through the keyhole, but for cakes. Mm -hmm. That's what we should call yeah. it. Through, no, <laughs> no, I'm not going to say what I was going to say because that doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> through, the, through the cake hole. <laughs> Well, then I wasn't going to say it out loud. We're moving swiftly on, my next <laughs> I don't think you'll win. You'll probably be copywriting that one. Anyway, so that's the idea. Is once a month, if you're a pro member, we get to we get to go into someone's cake uh, world and we get to see um, what they're all about and see their studio or see their, their, their cake shed, their garage or their cake shop. And I think I love, I love cake seeing shed. them. The cake shed. Exa oh, you could have done a cake shed. Yeah. yeah. You could have done a duck egg blue one for Michelle Patterson. Um, so yeah, so that's every month for the pro members. But I think that's quite exciting, isn't it? Because I think, I think it, um, a lot, it's quite a lonely world, the cake world, if you're working from home. Yeah. And I think just getting to see how somebody else's studio looks like and ju just get a, a, a good spot. Like, so we've been doing, as I say, we've been doing this at the pro for a long time, and uh, it's it's um, it's good to, to reverse it and put it onto the pro members. So and it's nice, to that. nice to get to know them, know other members as well. Yeah. Um, Somebody put a post on the pro members uh, site the other day, and actually it was surprising that everybody was in the same boat. The question that she posted, we were all in the same boat. We've yeah. all been there. We've all done yeah. the question that she put on. Yeah. Um, I related to it. There was a load of other people related to it, so uh, it was nice to show that actually we support. Yeah, no, it's, it's lovely, isn't it? No, yeah. I like it. It's really, really good. So back to you. Right. Okay. <laughs> so what 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 are we doing now? I'm oh. going to do um, a three tier. Silhouette cake. Wow. Yeah. Um, it's going to take 10 minutes, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> it depends how much we talk. Um, no, I th it was something I did um, oh, when they came out a couple of years ago. Um, I still think they're kind of on trend. Obviously, I still see some of the silhouettes out there. Um, so I'm not going to cut, again, I'm not going to cut them all out. Uh, otherwise, you will be going to sleep. Um, it's two sets. One is called the Countryside Silhouette, and again, uh, you get all sorts of cutters. Um, it's quite handy because you've got uh, trees. That one doesn't belong in that one. You've got uh, lamps. You've got another tree there. You've got grass. You've got clouds, hearts, gates um, with that. Now again, like the dog silhouette, you don't have to have them in black. They don't have to be silhouettes. You can do them in white paste and colour them. You can do them in different colour pastes. You can airbrush them if you want. Mm. Um, I got my airbrush out. Um, have you got the, the coloured cake? My yeah. cake. And uh, I don't often do airbrush cakes. Uh, which one is it? The 50th Judy. 30th? 50th. 50th. Huh. Did I not send that one? No. Bright coloured? No. The only cake I didn't send. And, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's fat. I'm sure did. Uh, it's a fabulous cake, and um, I just airbrushed the whole thing. But because I'd had a go at the airbrush and got the airbrush bug, 
I then did a race course, uh, a racing horse cake. Mm. And I airbrushed all my horses. Oh. Made out of patchwork. Perfect. I got a bit carried away, really. <laughs> was like, well, once, once you get airbrushed out, that's it. Yeah. Uh, I need I need to invest in some really good colours. So that was called the countryside set. So that's countryside. Uh, the other one is a family silhouette set, and this set has exactly what it says on the tin: the family. So it comes with um, well, the couple, hand in hand, the couple that then get married and have lots of kids, pushing a pram. You don't have to put all the kids on. <laughs> We've got a baby. Very busy. That one goes in that one. Um, and then uh, there's the pram one, and then you've got the old couple on the bench. So um, I'm just going to cut out a couple, um, and then I have cut. What I what I find is when you're putting black onto a cake, not only can it bleed, so you've got to be careful. Um, Shall we show them these ones? No. Are you talk oh, no, oh, are they hidden yet? All right, yeah. okay, that's fine. Um, <laughs> uh, but um, lost it now. Bleeding the cake. Bleeding the cake. Oh yes, you really need to, um, things like the tree, you need to let it uh, like harden slightly for about at least 10 to 20 minutes. Because if you've got this great big tree and you're trying to put that on that cake, it's all soft and all floppy. Um, so hopefully this is dry enough to handle. Yeah, it is yeah. just. Yeah. Uh, so I can now put, ooh, put that on the cake uh, it's not dry, but it's a lot drier than it was. Because do you want it to curve? Uh, do you want it to curve to the shape, or do you want it to be more flat? It's like obviously it's a, that's flat and that's a round cake. Um, do you prefer it to be flat, or do you like it to be a little bit more raised? Well, to be honest, um, most of my customer cakes now have sharp edges. Yeah. Uh, I don't do ganache; I do buttercream, and I managed to get the sharp edges. Um, but it's so much easier having the the round edges. Mm. But when you place that on, well, it, place that's it on. flat. So if you put it on, so it's going to be stick out like that, or do you want it to curve? Oh, I see what you yeah. mean. Sorry, I thought you meant. No, no, no. I thought we should go with that one. <laughs> no, but you went along with it. Um, well, to be honest, the tree it won't matter because if it's bigger, then it can stand up. Yeah, like it's, and it's supposed to be sticking uh, out a little bit. But all the others, I do, I do want it to stick and go round. You want it to go round? Yeah, now I understand the question. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so um, let's see what we can cut out first. So, already made black flower paste, uh, black flower paste or black gum paste. Um, if you colour it yourself, to be perfectly honest, it's probably going to change the consistency, the amount of gel colour you put in. Uh, so I would always buy the pre-coloured black uh, tracks. Trex, yeah, sorry, I keep moving out your Trex or Crisco or, uh, I can't remember the German one now. Palm, it's like palm something. I'm not sure. Palm oil. Right, so Trex your board and roll the paste and don't lift the paste up because you need it to stick on there. Is my mum still watching? <laughs> um, can't see your mum, but uh, Carol. As you say, Mario Frost at Patch Worker Cutters is amazing. Kiss, kiss. That she nice. is brilliant. Fazana's on. Fazana was on the training trainer. So was Angela Henderson. And Nicholas on as well. And Nicholas on as well. Oh, there we go. Gosh, there we go. So Maria says she's on the wrong side of the pond. Uh, she would love to take both your classes. Hmm. Whose classes is that? Yeah, well, what's your cutout? I'll oh, both our classes. That's like I didn't hear them talking about classes tonight. <laughs> right, oh, I missed so something. Trex in the cutter. Trex in it. Now, if you notice, this tree here hasn't got an end. Mm. So that means that you can uh, either cut it yourself that short, and that's absolutely fine. But if you want a longer tree, you can actually cut. No, I was, trunk a I, bit longer. I was looking for the longer tree cutter and I thought, I can't, I can't see the longer tree <laughs> no. cutter in there. <laughs> yeah, because that, that tree is really long, yeah. isn't it? So I'll, I'll just cut this one out. Uh, so you press all the way around the edge uh, after you've trekked the cutter and you flick it off. And then with this, uh, with either a um, Stanley blade or a palette knife, you can then cut that 
that down to as long as you want. It might be too long this one though, um, but just cut across and then pull the paste away. So you've got the longer tree. So we've, we've got a tree up the road and it looks very similar to that. And I always think it looks like clouds and it's got a few branches. So you could you could almost have two, you know, if, it's, if you curve that round, you can, you can make it a two. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Uh, and then using yeah. a cocktail stick or a scriber, so can I just say, Sarah Cox joined, so congratulations <laughs> to Sarah, she ran the half marathon at the weekend. Oh, wow. yes, yeah, so that's all right. Training and raised a lot of money for yeah. charity. Well done, Sarah. Well done. Is that Sarah who came back to Spain? Yeah. 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 That's a competition as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But Sarah came, that was a long, long time ago. That was five years ago. Yeah, yeah. Sarah would, uh, we're one of the only competition at Cake International for our members. And Sarah won that one when she came out. That was good fun. Yeah. We made a dragon, a 3D dragon. Yeah. And her husband came out as well. Yeah, Johnny. Yeah. All right, so using a palette knife. Okay. Just take that off the board. And again, because it's so floppy, you might struggle to put it on mm. the cake. So by the time you put the glue on or the vodka or the water and trying to put that on the cake and then it doesn't quite go and then you'll mark the cake and then you have to take the, the mark off. Just let it dry for 10 minutes, half an hour, um, just enough for it to um, dry. Up. So I have done quite a few, uh, so you know. This one's good for Halloween, isn't it? I think that'd be good for Halloween. Because yeah. it's, it's like it's got, it's just like the, you do little bats and a little yeah. moon behind it. And if you have a sunset, if you airbrush that in the sunset colour and oh, put that against it. An African safari. Yeah. Oh. And have the elephants and monkeys come oh. out. So. You should do an animal set. Yeah. Of course she does. <laughs> she, <laughs> does. <laughs> she does everything you could possibly wish for. Um, I was going to um, use a vodka, but these are actually almost too dry. All right. So That's because you left them there for too long. <laughs> we took them out in the Spanish weather. So I'm going to hopefully get this to stick to the cake. So we're just using some sugar glue. Some sugar glue, and if not, I'll just royal ice this. <laughs> well, Auntie Janice is watching. Right, so where's the back? <laughs> or is it Uncle John? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. Right, okay, so I've just stuck that on there. Um, and then, I've if we just put the couple, now the way I like to do this, and I've done it before, um, a three tier cake is basically telling a story. Bye. <laughs> he's gone, I don't know where he's, he's gone. Off. Don't leave me. He was, he was only paid till nine o'clock. <laughs> what, you mean you get paid? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I only offered to do it so I could have a swim. <laughs> <laughs> right, so just glue this. Uh, oops, don't worry if that happens uh, because you can just glue the hands back together. So I was just getting a bottle of water. Mm. It's thirsty walk, not doing this cake, <laughs> just chatting away. <laughs> how, how lovely is that straight away? Right, well, I, I broke the hand, but that's okay. I'm just going to put a bit more glue behind that arm. So that's because it's like been left to dry too long, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, most people um, just you just use 20 minutes, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we cut them out. Sorry, you cut them out about three hours ago or something. Yeah. Yeah. And I put them in the plastic wallet, and they weren't dry enough ready for the dam uh, for the Facebook Live. So I got my daughter to go and take it into the kitchen to dry, and then it really, really dried. <laughs> yeah. um, I think you forget how warm it is. It's not until you step outside. I, I forgot how red Zoe was getting. I think she's getting more red every 10 minutes. That time yeah, around. yeah. <laughs> no sun tomorrow, babes. Really sorry. I think you weren't out that, you, she wasn't out that long. I mean, you were um, in the pool for a while, but. Yeah. Now, for the lamp, what you can do, if you get a little bit of um, oh. orange powder or a little bit of glow, you can. Just put, a little bit dust. just put it behind it and that really offsets it. Or a bit of wa waiver paper, I suppose you could cut and stick it on the back. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously in colour. Yeah. Because it just reminds you like a sort of Georgian, you know, the, 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 the way the, the lamppost is made. 
Yeah. Thinking of, um, what's it called? What's that children's movie? The one where he's wanting fed all the time. Oliver Twist. Oliver Twist. <laughs> 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 I don't know why, but that's what came to mind. <laughs> Please, sir. Please, sir, can I have some more? <laughs> Where were we talking about? Oh, the, the, the lamp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> See how fast it comes together as well. The thing is, silhouettes, you don't have to colour anything. No. You get you buy you buy the black paste, it's done. So Tony O'Grady's saying that she's got the animal set. Yeah. See, I want to do, I, th I think the African safari one would be, um, an African sunset would be pretty, pretty yeah. cool. Um, I've done a dem using the um, the animal range, and the only thing I say is with the monkey's tail, load it with tracks, otherwise you'll snap the tail off. Right. <laughs> is that the right way? Now, who, what, what would you who would you make this cake for? I suppose. Um, well, I think really this is actually telling a story because. Um, it's almost for a wedding, you can get a wedding set as well. So this story is saying that the couple then got together, had a family, and then they're going, going to grow old together. So, you, so, I said so you it's almost like a story. So you can almost do it for a, a, like a, a couple that's maybe uh, having their, their golden, not their golden, what's it, like a, a big anniversary cake, and then that's the story of their, their life together, isn't it? They've, yeah. They got married, they had the kids, and now they're... Oh, that's cute. Very, very cute, isn't it? Um, and this is my favourite cutter. So. The old couple. The old couple. And if you do the, um, I mean, you could airbrush the entire cake. I've seen it done something similar where it's like an ombre, mm, all different colours. Yeah, that's nice. Um, just to, but, but again, if you're doing it for a customer cake, the whole point is you've got to make profit. <laughs> so it depends on. Oh, I haven't put the other tree on. I'll do it. put the other tree on there. So I'm going to pop that on there. Oh. Just gone round without cracking. Well done. J only just. So let's put this tree on. Now, if I was doing this at home, I would, instead of using sugar glue, where it can bleed onto the cake, I would use the vodka. Just vodka and then just yeah. the vodka or a little bit of water mm. um, and then then pop it on. Um, let's see. Oh, I like that pre cutter. I think I might have to go onto the website and have a wee a wee a wee nosy. Assume there is a website. Yes. Yes. Is it just patchworkcutters.co.uk or com or it could be. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I shall yeah, be. yeah, it will do. Just yeah. put factory cutters, yeah. uh, we're all, and it will come up. See, I like it sticking like that, just like what we're talking I about. Do. Yeah. It's .co.uk. .co.uk, there we go. Right, so what else can we put on there? Um, I'll just cut out a few hearts. Oh, I've got some butterflies. That's lovely, isn't it? Do you know, it was going to be white, but we decided, because yeah, I didn't have much white left, we went for ivory. We decided. <laughs> there was no white to be had, it had to be ivory. That was absolutely fine. And it looks, it looks really nice in the yeah. ivory. It's got a nice soft, um, soft It, it is softer, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, royal icing. On so, one. royal icing. Where do we put it? There it's a behind you. Yeah. Some little 3D 3D butterflies. butterflies. Now, what's, we've got some questions here. Is it Lorraine uh, McGarry saying I could have that for my garden 40th anniversary this year? No, she, she said later it. comes on and said that uh, there's no white said garden, so it must be some predicted text going on. Oh, alright, okay. Right, okay. <laughs> so, uh, oh, yeah. Kathy? Yeah. So I have them, but ha have been unsure how to use them. Can you recap its gum paste uh, and the yeah. cutting process? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. And what I'll do is I'll just do a couple of butterflies um, here. 
So it's um, so we're using Renshaw's uh, gum paste tonight or flour paste, and we can use any any gum paste or flour yeah. paste. Uh, I mean, basically sugar paste. You don't really use uh, the only time you use sugar paste is when you're covering the cake. Yeah. You can't really model with it. Um, it's not going to stand up and hold its shape. Uh, so you need something stronger. Uh, so yeah, flour paste is is perfect. Um, but again, if it's like the black, then then pre-coloured buy it already pre-coloured. Is she in the UK? Uh, yes. Oh, oh, I'm saying yes. I don't know. If she is. Kathy, are you in, in the UK? Um, in the UK, you have to um, use something called Trex, which is the white vegetable fats. Um, if you're, I think it's like in the States, you can have Crisco. Um, it's, it's, a, it's just some kind of uh, plant-based fat um, that doesn't taste. So what you do is you actually put the Trex on the board I probably put way too much on. Sometimes it can slide, but do you know what? I just slap it on. Um, <laughs> but even that's that's a huge tip because I would have put corn flour, icing sugar down, so uh, you know straight away it's much easier. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, and the tutorial we did today um, shows another slightly different technique. Um, so oh, can we see it? Yeah. So. Instead of, when you're doing flowers, instead of lifting that paste up from the board, you actually leave it on, you leave it down. You don't lift it up at all. And it actually sticks to the tracks or the fat that you put down. Roll it out really thin. If you don't roll it out thin, you're not gonna get a nice clean cut. You're gonna get a really ragged edge. I didn't see. I didn't see the butterflies on. So I'm looking, I'm looking at the picture on the. On That's the a really nice cake. Where did they come <laughs> from? Like, where butterflies come from? So, um, any cutter, or it, if you just put it straight into the paste, it's going to stick. So to stop it from sticking, a little bit of Trex onto the cutter, just to let you know as well, they're great in the dishwasher. Mmm. Oh, that's good. You don't have a dishwasher, do you? Yes. Oh, you do. Yes. I thought you got my daughter to wash up. No. Oh. I thought you were doing really well washing up. Oh. <laughs> no, she, she cleared the table yeah. and, and I filled the dishwasher. It's te <laughs> right. teamwork. Teamwork. So you press firmly with the cutter. Now at that point, I mean, you've got a tiny little stick to pick it up. So just use your finger. Don't worry if you haven't got a nail. You just flick it off. Now, Easy peasy. You can probably cut out another couple without it being uh, sticking to the paste. I'll try it and show. So I've just pressed down, flick. Press down, oops, and it came straight out. Mm. But at that point, I would probably put a little bit more Trex on the edge, yeah. and then you know it's not going to stick. Uh, if it's small ones, I try not to cut too many out in, in a small area because sometimes trying to pick them out gets a bit complicated. You haven't got enough room to get, get yeah, them out. Yeah, to get in there, yeah. So, because it's already stuck to the board, what you then do is you then pull the paste, the excess paste, away from what you've cut out and then it stays directly onto the board sometimes with little ones you just there you go so they're completely fine now they're cut out perfectly cut out no jagged edges mm, that's really good now tony how many children have you got how many have you got on there three two and a half you've got two and a half children one's still four three no, th you've got, got three, three and a half. Kids and one other way. They're twins. Three and a half. So Tony's saying it was her fortieth anniversary cake. It would have been, it was her fortieth birthday, but she needed more children around the side. <laughs> How many children have you got, Tony? I thought you only had one or two. <laughs> now, um, with um, butterflies, I tend to use a piece of paper, A4 paper, and fold it in half, and fold it in half again. Six children. Six. But she's a foster carer. So. Shall I put on another couple of kids? Yeah. <laughs> you've, got, you've got a little crawling baby here. It could be triplets. Oh, we've got Ben's just came on. Ben Cullen. Oh, 
Yes. Oh. <laughs> well, she just wouldn't be to the knees there. Did you see that? <laughs> Hi, Ben. He's the airbrush king, isn't he? Yeah, you're airbrushing next as well, aren't you? Did you see it in Ombre? Who, me? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, I've seen all the colours in this drawer. So we just have magic. magic. Wow. <laughs> right, so uh, you can, if you want, uh, dry your butterflies over that edge and then you can do it upside down. Or oh, so you get two rows. So you yeah. can get two rows if you want. I've never done that. Uh, or what you do is put it straight in the centre. Um, now, for years, when I was doing the big butterflies, I was always trying to trying to work out how, how I could get it in the centre, and it, it was never in the centre. Mm. And then I just flattened the piece of paper. Oh my goodness! Popped it in the middle. Popped them all in the middle. So that's just showing off. I know. Do you, I tend to find I get a lot of tricks like that. The more you demo. Yeah. You start to work it faster and easier ways. And um, most most demos I go to, I will actually learn something from, yeah. the, from the people yeah. as well. And especially when you teach when you teach classes, you tend to find when you watch the students make the case, you think, well, they, that person just did that a lot faster. <laughs> I'm going to teach that the next time I do it that way. <laughs> right, that's drying a bit already. So Maria asked earlier, and I'm not sure if this question's been asked before, but um, will it work on buttercream? Or does it, does it need to be fondant? Right, the problem with working, do, putting the, um, any of this onto the buttercream is that the grease is going to eat into your fondant. Mm. Uh, well, not fondant, yeah, your paste. gum paste. Um, it's like putting a decorated item onto a buttercream cupcake. I mean, I've put stuff on that's been dry for days, but the oils in the buttercream will eventually eat that heart that was, was hard mm. and start flopping. So, um, Could you do it maybe in the morning though? So say that was a seed that was buttercream yesterday and then it's the morning and the wind the wind's at twelve o'clock. Just think or is it still risky? I wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it. Right, no, okay. She's she's thinking no. I wouldn't risks. do it because um I wouldn't take the chance. But maybe if you can trial it and let us know how we get yeah. on. Uh maybe not for a customer. <laughs> Oh, I might try it. Yeah, you could try it. So I'm, I'm having some fun with buttercream just now. Yeah, why don't I, why don't are I, you having fun with it? Why don't I do an African safari buttercream silhouette cake? I think that sounds quite That's good. That's a buttercream. Yeah, that's what we do. There you go. Okay, it's just a couple more I'm going to cut out. So any more questions about... Yeah, so Marion, if you're watching, if you want to send over some freebies. <laughs> She's not watching. I can't get any freebies. She no, will. I think that's a good idea. That'd be cool. I've never earbrushed on buttercream either before, so um, loads, loads, loads of risky things going on. Right, so what we're doing now? I'm just cutting out a few hearts because it's the only thing that I didn't cut out earlier. Um, just to finish it off. So Sarah's saying thanks very much. She's got to go, but it was really good learning about the cutters. Thank you so much. <laughs> and Carla, Car Carolina, is it Car Carolina? Carolina. Caroline? Oh, Caroline. Car Caroline's watching from Chile. Wow. So we've we still got people watching? Oh, yeah, yeah. We've got five on. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, one of them is my mother. Bless her. And my, and my mum. Be... <laughs> yeah, and your mum. There you go. So we've got the hearts. So because these are soft, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put these straight on as they are. They're only small. So no glue or anything, so you just put no, straight on? No, I will glue. Oh, so they do glue yeah. yeah. But these don't have to dry because they're only little. Uh, so Carolina is just asking what we're doing. So, yeah, so we'll, this will be on the website again, on the Facebook page. It'll be uploaded so you can watch it. Uh, and it'll also be on the Cape Flix live TV uh, from tomorrow. Um, but we're doing patchwork cutter uh, cake designs. Very, very cool. Now, Mr. Bryce, where we're sticking the love hearts on, is there anything else we should be chatting about? Um, oh, I suppose we did, we've not really mentioned about what big number we reached last week. Did we, oh, we did a Facebook Live, but we didn't do it on here. Did, or did we do it on here? Mm. Can't remember, but we reached 200,000, didn't we? 200,000 members. 200,003 or something was an hour. Uh, yeah, 200,000. Uh, it's actually 200,027 now. No way. Wow. Yeah. 27 since last week. 24 since last week. Wow, yeah. there we go. So, uh, yeah, 200,000 people watching Cape Flicks. 
Not tonight, though. Not tonight. No, I know where are they all now. I think they'll all be on their holidays tonight. Are you on the holidays? Holidays. Uh, uh, yes, that was, that's been over eight years now. Yeah. Um, you, uh, launching a new tutorial every week. Every week, yeah. So, uh, every week. And uh, as David's been posting little, little, um, little just little um, teasers, um, we're, we're working on something seriously cool. Um, and I, of course, I'm terrible at keeping secrets. Um, but if I was to say anything right now, I think the fist would come flying across the, uh, and then give me a little pat in the face. But yeah, um, that be Matthew. That be Matthew. Yeah. So uh, so stay tuned. Um, oh, I can't say anything else. I'm gonna stop. But some really cool is uh, coming up, and it's something we've not done before. Okay. In fact, I think it's something that no other online cake school has done before. So very very exciting. I wonder what it could be. Mm, you know where it is. <laughs> well, it stays in Spain. <laughs> well, what happens in Spain stays in Spain. <laughs> see, I would have got in trouble. See if it'd be the other way around. No, I've got to sign an MBA. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it's like? What, on the drive up? Yeah. yeah. I, d I didn't understand it. It was all in Spanish. <laughs> or was it all in Scottish? <laughs> well, look, I hope you've enjoyed it. I know I have. Um... I would like to say thank you very much to Kate Flicks for having me, for both the tutorial no and for the day, and having my daughter. Oh. It's, it's been absolutely brilliant. Oh, it's been uh, a pleasure, it's been great having you. It's been a great experience, even if I don't get another day out of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's been great fun. Oh no, it's been great, and of course, um, if, if you want to uh, do a demo, if you want to go around the world, which place would you like to go to? If there's somebody watching this now, well, there's some Australians on, Australians on. Well, well funny enough, on. I'd yeah, love Australia. Australia, there Australia. You go. Uh, because they speak English. <laughs> <laughs> now, if um, they want to check out your work or your, where, how do they find you? Yeah, find me on Yummy Cakes by Sue. I have an Instagram account, although not brilliant at um, Instagram. Uh, my daughter tends to do that bit. Uh, <laughs> my Facebook page, Yummy Cakes by Sue. Website, Yummy Cakes by Sue. And, um, um, if not, find me on Cake Flicks. And of course, and uh, Sue's daughter would love to come to Australia as well, so because <laughs> she loves to help out in the kitchen, and yes. she likes to get a little bit of sun suntan as well. So, uh, yeah. are you going to come up? Come up, Zoe. Come on. No, come on. No, she doesn't want to be oh, seen. Oh, you don't want to be seen. Oh, bless. She's too. She's too. She's. Too, oh, I thought she was embarrassed. She's got a little bit sunburned. <laughs> <laughs> So well, it's been a pleasure having you here. So thanks for taking time with your precious holiday. Yeah. I know. I know to come on. It's only one day. Yeah, it's one day. It's been a long day. It has been a long day, but it's worth it. And, oh, it's so been, it has been good fun. Rich. And yeah. look at this cake. Yeah. It's beautiful. So, so I mean, that nice. took. Apart from the talking, I mean, really, that took. Oh. That's what. That's what. That's why I was thinking I would do the buttercream cake because I thought I can just make the cut. I can do the cutters in the morning. Buttercream the cake and wrap them on. Yeah. Yeah. You could try it. So I'm going to try it because, of course, it doesn't matter if it doesn't work for me. So I'll do it and leave it for 12 hours or 24 hours. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll do another we'll film and we'll see what it looks like. Yeah, so we'll great. use me as a guinea pig. So uh, that's great. So it's been a pleasure uh, um, to, to have you over here. And who, who knows, when you come back for your next holidays next year, you might um, push yourself to come back. Well, I'd love to come back. Maybe I can go for a swim. I'm not worried. Oh, I know, I know. It's the one thing she wanted to go swim with Paco, but you can go swim just there the if you want. Is, I wanted to swim, but I didn't want to go under the water and get wet my hair on Facebook Live. Get all, all frizzy. <laughs> but, uh, maybe next time. Anyway, so thanks very much. And um, so we'll see you on, well, we'll see pro members on Thursday, Thursday, Thursday at uh, 7 o'clock UK time. 7 o'clock UK time. And uh, if not, we'll see you next um, Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh, to around about this time, and that's all we know just now. Yes, um, <laughs> I, I don't have a schedule in front yeah, of me. I think, yeah. I think it might be uh, Sugar and Crumbs, you might be there. Oh, oh the they might be here. Ah, okay. Or is that the following week? Oh, I still don't know. Don't know, sorry, I just. Spot. Oops, sorry. Anyway, so anyway, we shall see you soon. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Right, we'll get a vodka now. See you.